Hi, Guy Shembury here, Weather Tight Roofing here in beautiful Hemet, California. Um, I wanted to apologize to anybody out there who's had difficulty getting a hold of us on the phone. Not only were we swamped with all the phone calls, 100 phone calls a day during the heavy rains, we had the fire behind us that you can see where we were vandalized, broke into, and they burned our metal shop down, kind of turned us upside down. The whole building got red tagged. And so we had to run our offices remotely and run paperwork back and forth to our, um, you know, employees to go out and do their work. And it's a continuation of two other videos. But anyway, my nephew Joshua Barton and Timothy, the manager, have been very active in getting our metal shop back up and running so we can do our custom flashings on roofs. And you can see up here where this is the wall where the fire was on that side of the wall where we lost our metal shop. And right here are... Uh, the beautiful benches that Joshua is building for our sheet metal work. And so they, they roll out and roll back in. And right on that white table is where our cutter is going to be. So Guy, what do you mean sheet metal work? What do you need sheet metal for? Well, you use sheet metal for flashing. Flashing around fire. And what is flashing? PCs. It's uh, metal work created to divert water around a fireplace, uh, an air conditioner, a skylight, and we do our own custom sheet metal work um, in order to make sure the roofs are waterproof. Because all the shingles and stuff that we lay, that's fine, that's waterproof, but you have things coming through the roof like air conditioners, fireplaces, and skylights, and you have to do sheet metal work to get the water to go around them. And so we have our sheet metal sheets up under here. And so these are sheets of sheet metal. And we pull them out and go up on the bench and they go through the cutter it'll be right here and we have uh, we still have our finger brake right here it's still operational what's a finger brake it's used to bend metal okay metal goes in there and you bend it and there's a larger brake over there but that got warped in the fire so it's not likely not likely that's gonna be salvageable what are those big uh, metal objects in the end? Uh, those are counterweights because you're pulling half inch steel. You know, when you go to bend a sheet of metal, <clears throat> so it's a counterweight because this is half inch steel. And that's how hot the fire burned because the whole thing's warped. Uh, so we can't get a true bend. So charge extra for a custom bend, <laughs> which is a bend I, bend. I don't think that's gonna fly. <laughs> I agree with you, but it's still humorous. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, hey, it's a bend bend. <laughs> so anyway, Josh is doing a great job. Timothy's doing a great job in keeping everything running. So kudos to Tim and Josh, but big kudos to Tim because he's the guy that's making it all work when there was hardly very little to work with other than trucks to run. And so, Tim is your operations manager. Tim is the operation manager, Mr. Tim Preston. So, there you go. So whenever I call, I'll either speak with you or Tim or... Most of the time when we call, yeah, they're speaking with Sharon and either Tim or myself are going to return the call. Estimators is uh, Timothy, myself, and Jacob. And uh, Timothy handles all the scheduling, so if somebody's going to get a call, we're coming to do your roof, it's going to be Timothy. And uh, there you go. And Timothy is Tim. Tim. Okay. Yep. So give us a call, WeatherTight Roofing, 951-929-0557 or check us out on the internet at weathertightroofing.com. Thanks.